the Joe Rogan experience. So. When you were thinking about coming back, I remember um, there was that conversation with you. Uh, well, there, there was a pot potential comeback fight with Ronda. Yeah. How serious was that? It was very serious. It what, was... what stopped it from happening? So, you know how, like, you know, I went, yeah. um, I'm living in L.A., um, I used to train out of uh, Randy Couture's in um, Vegas, and mm -hmm. I had my whole group there, right? I had Scott Berry, Jiu-Jitsu. I, I don't know where he went. I think he's, like, disappeared into the woods or something. Remember? Oh, really? On the mat. Yeah. Yeah, he used to own that store in Las oh, really? Vegas. Yeah. His, and him and his gone? brother. I, I don't know where he is. Hmm. Like, I, he's like a mountain man now. Um, Chris Ben Chavjavatsi, he's a boxing coach, um, used to be an LV boxing coach. Um, still, you'll see him in... Um, yeah, he's he's pretty great. So I, I had my whole team in, in um, Vegas. So when Randy or when um, Dana White and Lorenzo, they invited me out finally, like, you know, this had to been like five years ago. They said, hey, we'd like to offer you like, you know, a million dollar fight with Ronda. And I was like, damn, what took you guys so long? Like um, what I told what I had told uh, Dana and Lorenzo at that time was, you know, I don't have a team. I don't even have an idea of a team. I don't have a gym. I have, um, you know, I don't think me and Kevin were together at that time. I didn't have any connection into, you know, where I would do this fight camp. And I knew, you know, with the weight and everything, it was going to take me a good, it would take me three months to get the weight stabilized. And then it would take me um, four months to actually be in like fight camp. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um just to get back into it. I hadn't fought at that time in almost like a decade. So um, I just I asked Dana if he could just please keep it quiet. You know, just don't bring up my name. You know, give me the time to, it, a six-month time. And I, of course. That's reasonable. Yeah. Well, it's not even reasonable. You really need like a year, right? Well, yeah, but I was, you know, I felt like I could at that point, moment. Right. I felt like six months. Well, Dana, you know, Dana. <laughs> He was like, and I've got Gina Crono, and it's going to be against Ron Rousey. And he started pumping it out on the, you know, Twitter, and he pumped it out in the interviews. And I was like, whoa, whoa, like, calm down. Like, first of all, I don't even know who I'm going to train with. So now you've made it harder for me to walk into a gym and just get comfortable with people because now everybody knows I'm looking for a team. I'm looking for something. Right, and it's going to be a very high-profile thing. Yeah, and so now it, it made everything so much more difficult. And, um and, you know, like, that's where we didn't get along for a second. I was like, dude, like, right. like quiet down. Like, if you just quiet down, I can find a team and I can get organized. And then I, he said something pretty aggressive over text messages. I'm sure, you know, he he does that. And um, I was just like, yeah, okay, I'm not going to do that. Like, it was very simple for me. Like, that was going to be something for me. Um, and I was excited to be back in that world. And I was excited to do something like that. Um, I respect Rhonda and... I thought that was exciting, um, but after, like, it, it, you just can't, like, go back into that world and feel instantly disrespected on so many levels, so I was like, I'm cool, I'm going to go, and then I think another movie came up, and I was like, sweet, I'll just go do this movie then, you know, like, I'm not going to, I don't need to be disrespected, you know, so that's that's how that story went. You didn't have any inclination to have another fight, you just wanted to have the Ronda Rousey fight? Uh, I mean, I think when you fight, you are constantly fighting I have a bag in my, you know, downstairs in my uh, garage. Like I, I'm, you know, on the treadmill and constantly fighting people in my head and having a comeback fight all the time. How old are you now? I'm 40. So. Do you think you would still do it? I mean, I still can't even say that I wouldn't. You know. Because you know, Rhonda said. Yeah. That yeah. you're the one. I know, and honestly, I I feel like she's the one as well. If I wanted to, you know. Let's go, ladies. <laughs> Let's fucking go. If well, you wanted to do it, get I mean, me a you... dietitian because I have to you know, do that or chop off in my entire leg. I'm sure there's people. She said she'd fight you at 205. I know. I, you know me. I, or you don't know me. But I would not. I, it would be an equal weighted, you know. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I know. It would be professional. I, I'm, I'm sure. not, I have no interest in being like a. If you wanted to do it, though, now mm -hmm. it's like last call. Yeah. And you know what? I wouldn't. When she said that, I'm like, you know, I'm so focused on um, my dreams in, in movie making. But I also, I guess you just never, you never lose that want to do it. Right. And you, and for me, I, I've been looking for something to train for to get my body back and, and where I want it to be. And so there's just been with this little, kind of this little thing on my shoulders like, well, you could, you could train and you could get yourself where you want to be and use that as your focus.